never argue with women. You know, every now and then I have guys who comment on my videos and they say things like, bro, why don't you uh, leave women's comments up on your videos? <laughs> why don't you allow us to like debate with them? You know, you should have women call into your show and debate with you and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, I've gone into this before, but I'm going to go into it a little deeper today. And basically, you know, the short version of it is because I want to keep it a male space, you know, as far as the YouTube channel goes. Um, I don't want that distracting, you know, um, manipulative energy on my channel. But on an even deeper level, when I say never argue with women, I'm really referring to like real life interactions, right? The thing is, I don't argue with women because I don't view them as an equal to me on a logical level. See, I'll, 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 I'll debate with a man. And you know what? I'll even debate to a small degree with a woman who's making a very logical point as long as she can keep things logical. But for the most part, women can't do that. It always becomes emotional. It's always about them. You know, they always say, well, I'm not like that. Well, oh, I'm not like that. They don't know how to understand generalizations. They put everything, all they know is their own reality. They don't know how to look at, on a mass scale, how things affect other people. They just think how things happen in relation to them. So it's impossible to have a truly logical debate or argument or whatever with someone who only understands the world through their experiences and not understanding other cultures, other groups, other genders, other demographics, you know, whatever. So that, that's one reason. Another reason why is because they always get emotional in the argument. Once they start losing, right, they start saying things like, no, no, that's not true. No, I disagree. No, but they don't have a reason why. They're just saying no, because they're too prideful to admit they've lost the argument. And, uh, but, you know, and they don't want to be wrong. They don't want to face that. They, and they don't have a counter argument. So they just say, no, no, you're stupid. No, that's dumb. No. <laughs> you know, I was, uh, I was talking to Jasmine, right? Like, uh, when, when we were, when we were having our little war a few months ago, like before I started my YouTube channel. And when we were having our debate, I told her, look, when you hid that other guy from me, when you talked to me behind his back, that's when I knew you would never be able to be faithful to me in a long-term relationship. Because if you would talk to me behind his back, I know you would talk to another guy behind my back if me and you started dating again. And her reply was like, you're such an idiot. No, that's stupid. But she didn't have a logical counter -argue, argument to why I said that. I said, look, if you talk to me behind his back, that means um, you'll talk to another guy behind my back. That's a very logical point, right? That's a very valid argument. And her reply was, you're so stupid or like, no, that's dumb. Okay. Well, why is that? And I'm like, well, why is that dumb? And she's like, no, just forget it. I'm like, exactly because I'm right. And that's the thing. You don't, you really can't argue much with women. You kind of just tell them how it's going to be. And if they don't want to listen to it, then they can just go away. But I'm not going to argue with you when your argument is nothing but emotion. <clears throat> So when, when guys are like, bro, keep women on, keep their comments. No, I don't want that illogical, confusing, you know, childish energy in my presence. When I deal with women, it's strictly on a, this is how it's going to be basis. And if it's not my way, then screw it. It's a worthless interaction anyway. You know, it, it's not, it's not, uh, how do you, how do you, how do you logically argue with emotion? How do you argue with someone or, or, or have a debate with someone who's living in pure emotion? You know, emotional people are not meant to be taken seriously. Emotional people are meant to be told what to do. If you can't control your own emotions, right, and stay logical with me and, and handle this logically, because here's the thing, logic leads to results. Emotions don't lead to results. You know, emotions lead to suffering and uh, chaos, which is what women are notorious for. So you don't, you don't, you haven't earned the right to argue with me. <laughs> you haven't earned the right to give me your opinion. You haven't earned the right to, uh, to give me your, your, you know, your, your, your advice or whatever, because you can't even deliver it in a logical, in a logical basis, <clears throat> you know? So it's just, uh, it's, it's not worth it, you know? And, and here's the thing. Women don't respect men who argue with them anyway, because she knows she's irrational. She knows she's psychotic. She knows she's uh, emotional. And she's like, why is this logical man who's better than me arguing with me when I know, I know I'm retarded deep down. Why is he arguing with me. He must be retarded too. That's how women view you when you argue with them. So there's zero point. There's zero reason to argue with women. 
You know, there's there's no sense in it. it. It never accomplished anything in history. All right, guys, think of every argument you've ever had with a woman. Did she ever go like, wow, that's a really good point. I'm going to start changing my life and uh, following that set of principles. No, she didn't. <clears throat> So, so there, <laughs> there's really no point, guys. You just tell them what to do, like I said. And if they're not going to do it, then she's just a worthless vessel that's not even worth pouring your light into. And that's just the end of it. I don't want to hear this anymore from guys, bro, leave the woman's comments, bro, talk to them on the phone, bro, let's have an argument with a woman. No, because for me to argue with her, that's going to empower her. That's going to let her know that I take her seriously and respect her opinion. And I don't. Most women's opinions I don't respect. Most women I do not respect. Some women I respect, but those are very, 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 very far and few in between. The rest of them, not worth respecting, not worth arguing with, um, not worth taking seriously. And you don't. I'm not going down to your level. It's like arguing with a child, you know? It's like a child that says, like, I know you are, but what am I? I'm not going to do that as a man. I'm not going to go down to that level and argue with a child on that level. So I want you guys to remember, next time you're out in public or next time you're talking to your mom or your sister or whoever and you tell them something and then they take it in an emotional direction and start arguing with you, you just walk away, okay? You don't even give them your, your masculine energy anymore. They don't even deserve your aura, you know? They don't even deserve your, your, your spirit powers or your energy or whatever um, when they're getting emotional like that. You just let them talk to the wall. You know, you tell them, okay, you're not really talking about anything that matters right now, so I'm going to go away, uh, you know, reach back out to me once you calm down. That's it. That's the whole, you know, message. That's the whole moral of the story, guys. So, yeah, you know, stop arguing with women.